Hello again. Um, I have found a really good source for Fusion 360 videos on YouTube. Um, the guy who makes them is called Lars Christensen. I'm not sure if it works for AutoCAD or what, but he seems to know a lot about it. Uh, there's just one thing I found in one of his videos, which is... Uh, it's actually well explained, but there is a small thing here that I at least couldn't do with my model. So if you see here, this is my model, it's a little bit different. I have a, a indent part here, and you see I want to make like a boundary fill of this part here. And then you have the dip part, so you have this, and if you rotate, you see it's indent there. Okay, so in his video, uh, he explained how to do something where he select a middle tick box. So this is his video. Um, so I'm just gonna play it and uh, I hope it actually records the sound there. Let's see. On, and then go into the create drop down, select boundary fill, select all three. So you see uh, here he selects three boxes. He selects the metal sheet, his the sheet metal is supposed to do the thing on. And then he selects the uh, the body that is supposed to be the indent, and then he has the dip under it. What he does here, which I am not able to do, is he, he has four boxes here once you go to the boundary field. This one is for the sheet metal, this one is for the top part, and then this part is for the middle part. Uh, he is able to select the middle one here, but I am not able to do that. Because this one is actually hidden and represents the cone shape inside. Uh, I thought at first it was because the cone shape is bigger at his, uh, but I am actually not sure why I cannot select it, but he can. So select, select cells, and if we then select in here, see, so it even it even shades the part when he holds over it. It doesn't do that for me. Uh, I will show you in a bit. Like this one, and check that one in there. Hit OK. We get an extra body. Yeah. Now if we turn the, oh, the corner the cavity up. Because you can select boundary fill, you get an extra body of the cavity space that's there. And and, and this is okay. So I'll just uh, just close down his video. And uh, so here is mine. Uh, what happens when I do this is I go and, uh, let me see if I can remember the correct procedure. Was it surface, create? Under fill, and then I'm supposed to create selected the tools. That should be all of them. This, this, and this. So I selected all three, and you can see here, I get four tick boxes. Uh, but if I try to click there to select the cells, I cannot select that one. I cannot select that one. I cannot select that one. And if I rotate. I still cannot select all of them. So I try to rotate the view this way. Now I can select some of them. So sometimes it's based on the view you are in. Uh, but I, yeah, now it's select that one and this one. But sometimes you cannot select the box you really want. So my my um, what I found here is that. Uh, he used something called surface inspect or well, what's it called um, uh, cancel inspect sur section analysis um, so notice that all the tick boxes get in the middle of the models so what I do is I, I select a section analysis I found this to be working and then you need to select a face that you want to inspect so I can select this and then you get an option to drag this sideways. So you drag it point past the point where you have the tick boxes, like even almost to the end if you want. The main thing here is you need to be able to select all three of these parts. And what happens is that these tick boxes becomes like in, in empty space. So there's no objects or models or anything that blocks it. So I just leave the section analysis on like that. Actually the boxes are still here, it's just the preview of the boxes is not displaying. And what I then do is I go 
create boundary fill click all of the boxes and you can see you have the tick boxes now here and now you can you can select the parts or you can click on the boxes themselves so you can zoom in and I know that the top one here is this one the middle one should be the boundary and uh, the bottom one should be other one so if I select this one okay sometimes it's not working even here uh, it's because I have to of course I have to select cells so now it has four cells and then you can go in and you can tick on the box that you want to tick on and why on earth doesn't that work now it worked before for me okay but at least you can go in and you can you can at least click on the model you want to make and in this case you want to you can actually hide the indent part some reason it's not working like it did when I did it earlier So we want we want actually to be able to select the part that is in the space between here, this one, or this. So uh, create. Maybe I have to be in the solid model to do this. Let's try that. So uh, in the model, I can boundary fill because I'm supp supposed to select a solid. So select tools should be four selected here Let's this this and this maybe you can just drag Then select this. Now I think I was able to select the one I haven't been able to select before. Because the bottom one is the one that's here. So the logical next one should be the space above the thing. So I press OK. And it should create a new body. which is this and yeah let's see so after that you can go to analysis and you can show hide the thingy and then I can remove the two indent parts okay it didn't seem that I selected the correct ones I'll delete that one delete let's go and do another section analysis and just turn it back on and then you can do a create boundary fill click 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 and then this and let's try to select this one instead the top one so it's not that so you can actually click the space itself so I, I managed to click the space there because I have access to it since I'm in there so you see that should be the one let's try that one and okay 
yeah I think that was the correct one because, because you see now it has became pink inside which means it has created an object on that place and then I can go to section I can remove that and we can you see this is the new body you see from a side from the right side now you will see that when you click the new body you have created a shape that he meant in the video and then you have can remove the dip part and this part and you see you got a new body here so you have actually managed to select it anyway I have no idea why I sometimes cannot select it but you see there when you use section analysis it's easy to just go in and uh, uh, and select the shape that you actually need to select in this case I couldn't click on the button itself the, the checkbox but I could actually select because I was in section analysis, I was able to select the space that was supposed to be uh, created. So I ended up with the same solution. But in many times, you can actually select the box. But you cannot do that sometimes because the box is hidden inside the shapes. And you have to use a section anal analysis to be able to select the space. Okay, so uh, thank you Lars for the really good uh, tutorial you made there. I would not have been able to do this. Um, I can just briefly, briefly show why I wanted to do this part. Uh, case. I'm recreating a case, and I had to make a indent on the front here. So this is the actual shape that uh, I made. So I placed it here. So that is the finished product of the sheet metal uh, press thingy. So thanks, thanks Lars. And uh, I just made this video not to complain or anything. I just mean it to show uh, people that they can use the section analysis tool that you tip them off to also be able to select either the inside or the checkboxes you cannot normally click. So thank you and hope you make more videos.